Well, good morning, everybody. Linda Ray, Texas Girls Farm. Junior's coming up. Um, good morning. As you can see, the sun is over here shining um, in my eyes. Just wanted to come and talk to you a little bit before I got the morning chores done. Um, we put out a, a video yesterday. <laughs> it's almost 30 minutes long. Brooke decided she wanted to do an adventure. Sorry for looking around. And uh, we did. Um, I want to thank the uh, people that are on the Texas Girls Farm um, Facebook uh, page um, for coming over and subscribing. And I encourage anybody that hasn't came over to come and join us. There's no telling what we're going to get into. Um, kind of wanted to update y'all on the status of the work. Um, I haven't got any word as far as uh, when they may finish the pad. Um, that's all I'm waiting for. I, I don't know if the same gentleman is going to be building. He was supposed to be, but um, we're be kind of beginning to uh, wonder about that. But that's okay. I I've got a another builder lined up if I need it. So, yeah, kind of in limbo there. But, um, uh, the tree man's here cleaning out more trees and stuff like that and um, uh, You'll see a little bit of That in the video that's uploading now um, We um, attempted to um, make arrangements to get um, Another buck and a doling uh, to go with the, the goats down there and I just kind of wanted to put a video out there because uh, working on Facebook and people contacting you through Facebook when you're trying to uh, buy something. Let me just give you all from experience. Don't ever send any money up front. Uh, PayPal and stuff like that. Um, if it, I think they're legit. If you make arrangements, you know, to pay cash. I can understand all big things for like a deposit. But, um, yeah, just um, be careful. Um, the goats are playing down there. Um, yeah, I've been burnt once and the individual I was dealing with the other day, I just didn't have a good feeling about it. And normally if you don't have a good feeling about something don't do it so uh, today um, I don't know but it feels so good this morning there is such a breeze blowing and it is so cool um, it's just kind of nice to sit down and take it all in Brooks in there asleep but still and um, I probably have crud I just got out of the shower I've got Poison ivy, mosquito bites, tick bites, I've got it all, you know, you know, live out here and doing this, yeah, you're going to run into things, but, um, just, uh, wanted to reach out to y'all this morning before I got chores done and say good morning and, thank, and thanking the ones that came over from, um, the Facebook group to the YouTube channel, we appreciate you, couldn't do it without you, I still need my thousand subscribers and my four thousand watch hours. Oh, yeah, it's that fun. But perseverance, that's what I call it. So I don't know what else we're going to get into today. It's supposed to be another hot one. I'm going to go down and check the side by side and make sure we don't have any flat tires after venturing off it, it, where we did yesterday. So I'll pick y'all up shortly. Everything seems to be intact. Let's um, check this side. Yeah. Oh, this came off of the inside. I'll have to put this back up. Yeah. Looks like everything looks okay. So chickens are saying let us out so I'll be back with y'all 
shortly. And yeah, we're ready to pin down yesterday afternoon. It's still damp. That's a that's a good sign. I'll be back. <laughs> like a bunch of school kids saying, let us out, let us out. All right, I'll be back with y'all shortly. I got to go feed the goats first. Here, um, making the goats feed. And as you can see, I have a alfalfa pellet. And it's, and I hate to buy this brand, but this is the only one that um, is the Demore non-GMO all-stock pellet. Um, I was feeding a organic feed, and I don't have one of those sacks in here um, that, uh, especially when the goats are lactating, it's really good for them. But um, an alfalfa pellet, the all, um, all stock pellet for, you know, goats, sheep, everything. And then um, corn. And then an, another pellet that I haven't finished using up that's in the, the white barrel. But you can see this little mixture right here. And what that is, is a small amount. And there's a, a little thing of garlic powder, which um, I do it like every other day. And sometimes not every other day, maybe two days in between. But... Uh, if they consume it through their feed, it helps cut down on flies. Um, my sister uh, hooked me up to that trick. And then the other thing that I do on a more daily basis is I dispense in this little, um, whatever it is, little container thing. And that's the, the white probiotics and um, and you can see it's for ruminants and other animals and um, my sister picked this up for me months ago and it's been lasting for a while um, the other thing that I did I told y'all the other day I warmed them I'm trying this sacred pellet pelletized warmer and you just add some to the grain and the other thing that I do is I use the diatomaceous earth, red, red lake with calcium bentonite, and um, I mix it in there, a little bit in their feed, um, maybe once a week, and um, and the the uh, chicken pen I actually spread it. Um, on the ground also and um, I've got to fill up my container even though I know it's it's the same brand they didn't have the small container and we were out so I just went ahead and bought the big sack so I need to fill it up because it makes it so much easier because it has a little shaker on the top but that's something that I, I don't think I'd ever discuss with y'all what I feed and um, I'm real careful I was overfeeding them when I had all the goats, so now I've proportioned it out where they're getting about, um, each getting a um, pound each, which measures to about this, the two quart line in here. And so, so, so far, I mean, you can see the kids and how much uh, weight's on them, and I'll mix it, mix it up. The dogs are waiting on me. And the goats are waiting on me. But, uh, yeah. I mix it up. So, they'll get... I'll get a little bit of all of it. So, yeah. I just wanted to bring that to y'all. I don't think I'd ever showed y'all before. What I'm actually feeding the pretty goats. Isn't that right? Y'all hungry? You're saying, get over here and feed us. So, mama's coming. Let me get them fed. And so, I'll go turn out the chickens. And we got a little curious. They're waiting for crickets. We're cleaning out the rain barrel because if you look down in there, I don't know if you can tell, there's a, a bunch of algae. So we're going to clean this all out and get it where next time it rains, it's all clean. I've got a water hose draining 
so I'm not really wasting the water. It's kind of watering stuff out there, but I'm fixing to spray down the inside and try to get all that algae out of the bottom. And then I bought some stuff from Tractor Supply, which I put in the other rain barrel over there, which is working really well as far as killing the mosquito larvae. And they've got fresh water. We've watered all this. So just out here doing a little maintenance. And the chicken pen. They're all enjoying themselves. So I'll be back with y'all and see if we can get all this algae out of the bottom of it. So the water's pretty much quit running that away. And uh, we'll see if I can't get the algae coming out of there in just a minute. So I'll be back with you. See, I've got pretty much all of it out of there. And it has quit draining and I'm glad I didn't try to um, film at the same time because yeah, I came back and squirted myself. But yeah, bottom's off clean. So we're going to try and put some more in it. I, I probably won't fill it up all the way but uh, as you can see I've got it setting at an angle so it can drain. And um, yeah, I'll be back with y'all shortly. Uh, Sorry about the camera's adjusting again. Then I'm going to clean the top all off. So, be back with you shortly. Got the little downspout. I need to get another piece of this. And hopefully, maybe get another piece of this. to, Because this one's cracked. But the chickens knock it down every day anyway. So, anyway. I got it all cleaned out. Got the lid all cleaned out. And I filled it up about a quarter of the way. Because they do get on here every day and sit. And I didn't want them knocking the whole barrel over. Um, you know, the water is not well water. It's um, actually hooked up to the city. So it's got some bleach in it. Which I'm hoping will help, you know, keep that algae that I washed out of there. Keep that at bay when the rainwater, if it ever rains, comes because Lord knows we need some rain. I did pretty much the same thing to the IBC tote, which is over there. Um, not quite to the full extent I did this because I got all the algae out of that. I can't get all the algae and stuff out of the IBC tote, but um, that right now when that is full, I've been using it to uh, water out there. That's why the water hose is struck out there. So it kind of flows and waters that. So right now it's pretty much empty uh, because the last that was in there I emptied it out watering and just waiting for it to rain. Which, yeah, we haven't had any rain. So um, give y'all an update on the little chicks. I have three days attempted I moved them back over here because they have a little more room but I have left the fence down attempting to let them go out and mingle with the other ones there's still the little golden wine dots back right there are still a little bit too small they could get out of the fence if they wanted to so they like to stay in here where it's secure they're getting picked on but hopefully within the next few weeks they'll want to go out and stay out and um yeah i just noticed how that one right there doesn't have as big of a cone as the other ones do and it's kind of weird because all my other red ones um have cones and, I, and I'm almost positive them are all hens. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting that I didn't notice that till today. But yeah, I mean, all my big other big red ones. And this girl right here, she she flew over the fence today, and I was so proud of Maggie. Maggie just stood there and looked at her, walked all the way around the fence with me to get her up over here in the corner so I could pick her up and put her back in. But isn't she just beautiful? 
she's all white with a little bit of gray in her. She's one of those French brissies. She's so pretty. And they're pretty pretty much docile. Um, I've been real surprised at how docile and as you can tell, she's got the blue legs because French Brissies have, all, I think, blue legs, blue bones, just like the white Polish do. And the little leghorn chicks, they're still skittish, but settling down. And this one, I, I think when these little ones are actually, and it may be her, it may be her, started laying eggs. I can't tell. I mean, if they are, it's early. Look at those claws on there. She's a good girl. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. They're fine. But anyway, yeah. Just wanted to kind of update y'all on what's going on. And uh, I'll be glad when these little ones are ready to venture out. But right now, they're not. And I've got to clean out their water because I see they've gotten it dirty, which they have water in there too but they like their confinement and privacy and staying away from the others so we'll see how that goes down anyway probably uh, get off I still haven't uh, watered the garden so I'll go and water the garden and do you know mother already cleaned out the goat pen my morning chores there's my Maggie there's my Maggie checking and making sure everybody's in but I've been so proud of her. I mean, she was within a foot of, the, of that chicken. She could have got it. She could have got the baby chicks the other day. And she knows that that's not what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to protect them. But yeah. We we got the chickens going. Yeah. It's crazy. I need to get that many chicks off so I can get um, these leghorn chicks and leghorn and Karen and Get them where I can take them back uh, behind the garden and move them around every day and let them graze out there on the grass. So, yeah, I just need to get that done. I need to put that as a priority. There goes Maggie. She knows how the pen goes. Going all the way around back. All right, I need to clean up my mess. And I don't know what Brooke and I are going to get into, but... Um, I'm going to try to get this video uploaded. The other one's almost 30 minutes long. There's Leghorn. I had to doctor him again. I doctored his cone. And then I doctored... No. I doctored his foot. Um, he's got a... Um, it's actually went down. But it was kind of swollen. Kind of like the big rooster over there that I doctored the... Uh, a couple of weeks ago. But I cleaned his foot. He had a bunch of stuff on it. Oh, you can barely see it now. You can see it's kind of got a sore there. Yeah, I put some medicine on it yesterday. I ought to catch him and doctor it again. But he's so he's so gentle when you pick him up and doctor him. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Get Leghorn doctored and um, call it a video. And um, we shall catch y'all tomorrow. If you like the content hit that like button people it helps the algorithm on youtube it helps us uh, if you haven't subscribed come on over and subscribe <laughs> we got roosters we got five roosters so far i don't know what's going on with them youngins i'm gonna have to reevaluate that we'll see if they lay eggs and then i'll know if they're a rooster or not <laughs> let's see if any of them start crowing that's one telltale sign <laughs> if they start crowing Bad leghorn, he's uh, he stays right here with me. The more I doctor him, um, I mean, y'all see him dance around when I've been down, but um, he hasn't tried to get me. And I feel sorry for those people that have mean roosters. I don't know how this juvenile rooster is going to be, but so far, he's um, tended to his own business what he's supposed to do, but uh, yeah. Uh, the wind's still up a little bit. It's still um, a little cool. It's starting to get warm. But, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Maintenance. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. <laughs> okay. Okay, I hear you. 
So hit the notification bell so every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. And I hope y'all have a great Wednesday hump day. Let's get over it and enjoy this day that the God that God has provided to us. And uh, we appreciate y'all can do it without y'all. And we will see y'all on the next one.